Well, it's a question that many of us will ponder. How will the world remember us when we're gone? In Canberra, volunteers have been sitting down to record the life stories of patients in palliative care. And the project's proving to be a unique form of therapy. If you could write a book of your life, how would it read? Hello, Tracy. Hi, Helen. Oh, lovely to see you again. Come on in. Thank you. In Canberra, volunteers are lending their ears to palliative care patients, listening to their life stories right from the start. One of my skills in life is talking, so I'm quite comfortable about telling people. Why don't we just use, do 10 to 15? That would cover my primary school years and into high school sort of thing. Every hour spent with a patient means several more in transcribing and formatting. Having them relate stories about their life to a volunteer and have that written down, it must be so precious. Well, it's a precious thing for the person with the illness to give to the family that's left. Helen Merritt has lived a life filled to the brim with adventure and love, and retelling it has been the best medicine of all. Actually just seeing Helen relive those moments and you could see her remembering things that she hadn't thought of for ages. That was nine pence to get in, that was the admission charge. And her face would light up and she'd get so excited and it was just really lovely to see how happy it made her. We'll keep, that, keep that heading. Yeah. The program is the brainchild of palliative care <laughs> ACT. Anyone with a life limiting illness can sign up to have their life stories put down on paper. The person that's taking the story can say, wow, you've had a really impressive life. And that becomes affirmation for the person when they're heading towards the end of their life that makes them realise how much they have lived, which is quite therapeutic. Do you like that I called it? I called it Remembrances, Recollections and Reminiscences. At the end of the project, here's Helen's life in print. Look at me sitting on the swing. You'd never think that your nail was that little, eh? <laughs> and this meander down memory lane means the world. They'll have my life stories forever. And I think that's the wonderful bit about it, that it's something that a real part of me that I have left to my children. I've had quite a nice life, so I've enjoyed talking about it. A life of joy preserved for posterity.